On this video, I'm basically going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Nook Touch and the Kindle Touch. Uh, you know, as far as the size goes, there's hardly any difference. The 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 Nook is slightly shorter. If you can see that, see that's the distance, the difference of the height, and it is you know, but it's really uh, nothing significant and it's a wee bit broader you know but these are not uh, important features for you to consider in your purchasing decision you know let's look at some more important features than you know the slight differences in uh, height and width and thickness and weight okay so on the the kindle touch you know you have the home button here which is kind of which kind of you know uh, bulges out you know these ridges and then at the bottom you know you have the the power switch the uh, audio input stereo headphones and the micro USB and then on the back side you have the the two speakers right and then on the the nook it's you have the home button here you know and then you have the micro USB B uh, input right and then you have this uh, slot where the micro SD card goes now that's something the the uh, Kindle touch does not have right so you can expand the internal memory with that and then you have the power switch here on the back side right and then when it comes to the home page uh, you know your the books most recent first you know that they're, they're sorted in order uh, my items 13 right here and by most recent first okay um, and you have a list of the books whereas in the Kindle uh, whereas in the Nook you know the interface is a little more mm, pleasing you know you have the book that you were reading there you know reading now and I'm on page 18 out of, of page 131 right so the, the the home page looks a little bit more organized and pleasant on the nook compared to the Kindle touch right so let's 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 uh, let's look at a book the adventures of Sherlock Holmes right um, so a similarity between the two is that both of them refreshers uh, on the sixth page right so uh, in earlier Kindles you had um, uh, as well as the Nook the very first generation you know you the, the, the page refreshed every turn you know it, it becomes black now let's look at an example okay so the next one it's going to get black there you go so that's called a page refresh right and now it it's kind of you know not the most pleasant thing right so the engineers on both Amazon and uh, Barnes and Noble have worked to get rid of this refresh rate and um, so you basically get this refresh like every six pages so that's one two three four five and six right so on the sixth page turn you get the refresh and it's the same with the Kindle as uh, with the Nook as well right so that's uh, uh, it just refresh right so that would be one two three four five six there you go the screen went black right so as you can see you know it's basically the same on the on both of them and then as far as you know page turning goes you know you could um, tap anywhere on the screen not anywhere you know so you have this left border you know tapping on which it will go back right and then you have this stop border on the kindle touch when you tap on that you know you this menu bar opens right at the tool tool bar at the bottom and the other the large part large part you know about three quarters or more uh, when you tap on that part you know it, it just progresses forward right so on the Kindle 
uh, you go forward like that or you go backwards you know when you tap here right so if you can look at the word at the top American right so I'm going forward and I, I want to go backwards if I tap here you know I should see American again see okay so that that's how you move forward and backwards that's one way and then the other way is you could you know swipe going forward going backwards you know, we do it like three times and we should come to that word American right there you go American um, so basically you know there are two ways to go backwards and forwards you could tap on the large part of the screen which will take you forward and you tap here it will take you backwards and then you could either go backwards by swiping that way go forwards by swiping that way right and you could also read it single handed go forward 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 go backwards right so that's how you um, turn pages you know quote unquote turn pages on the kindle touch and let's see how you do it on the um, and when it comes to the nook touch you know it's basically the same you know uh, you have um, a few different things um, so if you remember on the kindle you know, if you uh, tap on the large area you know this area basically takes you forward right but in the kindle if you tap in the middle it opens up these um, menu bars toolbars right so you have to make sure you either tap on this corner to go forward right this edge to go forward or this edge to go backwards if, if you uh, keep your eye here on page 16 right so if I go there you know, it becomes page 17 forward you know backwards and then you know how clearly you can see these two ridges here so these two ridges can also be used you have them on either side you know depending on if you are holding it with your right hand or your left hand so uh, those will also turn pages you know backwards and forward so you can basically use one hand to uh, turn pages so if you keep an eye on the page number you see it's 16 right so if I want to go forward you know I press this it's, it's not very easy it's not as easy as just tapping there right so you have to make an effort and you know it's kind of a thin ridge so it's page 17 and then you know moving backwards it's not very comfortable I will tell you because you have to uh, you know move uh, hands it, it, it you know, it's not it's not touch screen right so it's not part of the touch screen so you have to make an effort and doing it with one hand is not so easy whereas you know with the Kindle you could you know just tap there it goes forward and you could tap here it goes backwards right so with the uh, the nook touch if you want to use the touch screen to uh, move turn pages you know you have to have really long fingers because see even if you tap there it's gonna bring up the menu bar right so you need to have really really long fingers reach that edge okay see then you can move forward and move backwards right so it may not be a big issue you know because your mostly going forward right not backwards so you could use your right hand basically you know to move forward right and if you must use backwards go backwards you could still use this ridge it's not the easiest thing it doesn't press that easily okay there you go so it's going backwards these these ridges they are not not very easy you have to make an effort see the kindle moves okay so that's how you uh, and of course on the kindle uh, the nook touch too you know you could uh, swipe to go forward or to go backwards right forward backwards okay, let, let, now let's take a look at how you uh, change the font size and all that um, so on the kindle basically you know you could um, tap the top of the touch screen 
and this menu bar comes up and then you could go to the bottom you know this AA right and then you could you know change fonts like that right and then you also have this typeface differences uh, regular condense and then you know you can do spacing you know medium so this is line spacing you can see the line uh, the, the the distance between two lines get ch uh, changed right so small medium large and then you can also do words per line you know that's basically the width of the column you know it becomes smaller so I'm gonna go back to default uh, default right and I'm also gonna go to default here style regular uh, I don't know what the size was let's go for that one was it this one that one okay and then you know you could just close it and then on the Kindle you could also uh, do another thing if you want to change font sizes that is you could just do that and it increases the font size by one once more goes up again see that's the fifth size you do it once again that's the sixth size one two three four five six right and if you want to make it smaller you do that okay it becomes the fifth size that again okay sorry small small okay so that's you have that option with the kindle right but with the nook you don't have that second option right so you could basically tap somewhere in the middle and this toolbar comes up at the bottom see where it says text and you know you could just change text size right and then you also have you know change line spacing just like on the 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 kindle right so you could make them distant apart or closer and then again margins you know smaller margins or very large margins so those features are basically you know the same and then you also have these different fonts with the kindle you only had three typefaces as they called it but with the the nook you get three fonts and you could close that okay and then um, so th then you can also use the dictionary add uh, notes you know annotate highlight and uh, let's look at that next